Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to share with you a little tutorial today. I've been playing with some dies from Scrap Diva. Uh, this is her information right here. Head on over to the shop. You can use my discount code GEN10 for 10% off your purchase. So I have some birthdays coming up this month and I wanted to make some birthday cards slash uh, gift card holders. Um, it's super, super easy to do. I used some of the line dies and actually just a bunch of random dies from her shop. Um, but mainly I wanted to show you how to use these dies. Um, I will show you, I will insert a picture of what I used for this project. But these are the line dies that I used. Um, it's kind of a cool set. It's a little different than what I would usually use. But I used uh, one of these line dies to create the pockets uh, for the interior gift card portion. But for this one, I used an older Echo Park collection called Let's Celebrate. Um, this Happy Birthday is from her shop. Um, you can find it in the loaded banner die set, as well as these cute little balloons that I use. You can open it up. Here's the balloons. This this bow is actually from the swimsuit album set. And if you open up, this is where you're gonna insert your gift card. And you don't have to do a gift card. You could put a photo in there. You could put a tag. I just thought it was really, really cute. And then I stamped this on the inside with a little bit of embossing ink. Um, this too is from that same loaded banner die set, The what I put the sentiment on. And then I just kind of loaded everything up and I love the look of a really simple, well-made card. The layers really make this a sturdy card and it's definitely reusable. All you would have to do is add a sentiment over this and send it on its way. I used the Crafty Greetings from the same uh, loaded banner die. I think this was the add-on. And here you're gonna find the uh, hot glue gun bag topper. Inside, once again, you can use your gift card on the interior, just pop it in like that. And this is that fun die that I was telling you about, the line die. Um, it's really simple to just make a cute little pocket. I'm going to do one with you. Starting with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, um, I'm using one of the 110 pound card stock and I am cutting it down the middle at four and a quarter, as you can see here. Then I'm going to turn it on its side and score at three inches. And I'm gonna cut again at eight and a half. This is going to leave you with an eight and a half by four and a quarter piece of paper. And then you're gonna have this right here. You're going to pop it back on here and score at one half inch. I'm going to make sure that I've got a nice clean fold on here. So you should have these two pieces now. I am actually going to miter the corners on this. Okay. So I've set my pieces aside and I've already pre-cut my pattern paper. So my pattern paper, I am doing a double layer on this and I just left an eighth of an inch um, off each side to leave a nice border around the interior. Now this is gonna fit in a standard A2 envelope. So the card measures four and a quarter by uh, five and a half. So this orange piece right here, I've cut down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then this one is going to be four by five and a quarter. And I am just going to uh, pop these onto one another. Glue these together, but I have not glued them down to the base yet because you actually want to glue this portion down first before you put the base down. So I'm just going to add a little glue right here onto this flap. And then I'm going to kind of line it up 
and make sure that that goes right to the edge down the center, leaving everything evenly spaced. Now you can add your back panel. Make sure that this is nice and adhered. So I've also cut this. I am going to center that right in the middle of the car. For this panel here, it measures two and a half by three and uh, three quarters. So I just took an eighth off this and then I cut some pattern paper, another eighth off, and I will leave those measurements for you in the description box. For this panel right here, I used another one of the line dies. I just thought it would be a nice contrast on here. And it's just the heart cutouts from this. This is the die itself. Super fun. And the bonus thing is you can use all those little hearts, save them as confetti inside your shaker bit. For this interior, we're going to make that pocket. So I'm just going to take a little bit of washi tape to really kind of secure that on there. I'm going to add it about hmm, maybe two thirds of the way over. Make sure that it's centered and just apply your washi to keep that in place while you run it through. All right, so I ran it through just going to take that off. The washi should help it um, stick while it's going through the machine, but not directly to your project. It's got a good release to it, so it's going to look like that. I'm just grabbing some eighth of an inch score tape, and I'm going to adhere it this way. You could use a thin bead of glue. It's totally up to you. Once you have this whole thing adhered around the edges, make sure that you've got yourself a little pocket here. You can just go ahead and glue the entire thing. All right, so you've got the main base of your card together. For this one, I wanted to use this as a coffee gift card holder. It allowed me to play with some of the cute dies that I had received. Um, I did a few things here. I'm going to bring it all out and see how it comes together. But these coffee cups are dies from the shop and I absolutely love so them. These are the dies that come with the coffee cups. Super, super cute. Um, it's a stamp and die set. So you have your, your choice. I am just using the dies for what I want to do today. But for this, I just cut it um, twice. One with a pattern with this for the pattern paper that I used in the back, and then I cut another white one and then just cut the lid off. I used, you can see it a little better in this one. I used just some craft paper for the center and I brought out my old paper crimper. I don't know if you guys still have one of these in your stash. I was kind of surprised when I found mine the other day, but <laughs> it, it just gives this really cool crimped look. Oh, and I found, here's the rest of the stamp set for the coffee. But it gives you this cool crimped look like this. And then I just lined it up to my die cut and then I cut right along the sides. The leaf that you see here is a felt leaf. I believe it was from the Target dollar spot from a little while ago, like maybe a few seasons ago. And then I just had some cute heart punches for these. This too is a punch, a little maple leaf punch that I have. I grabbed this sentiment. The sentiment is from the set. This I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's an older um, collection called Falling Leaves. As you can see right here, this is uh, what Photoplay used to mark the paper. But I did this tag with the same idea because it, it does have the tag option as well. So you've got a coffee and a tag to do a cute little gift if you wanted. But for this one, I'm thinking, and I also actually, 
while I'm talking about it. I also grabbed these out because I wasn't sure if I was going to use the sentiment down the side or if I was going to use one of these wood pieces. Once again, it's from the Target dollar spot. But I was thinking about maybe putting the cup something like this. I like that a lot, actually. Now for this one, I'm just going to pop it up. Yeah, I really like how that looks. Yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. Which do you like better? I kind of like this wood piece a little more. I'm gonna do it. I like this one. It's gonna adhere that right down. And you have your gift card slash card holder super cute right fun fast easy projects i love this kind of thing perfect to give a little little sweet treat to a friend during the thanksgiving season so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more crafty content head on over to scrap diva designs and you will find a ton of amazing dyes in her shop and i will see you in the next crafty video bye